In a development that's raising eyebrows across the aerospace industry, Chinese firm Cosmo Leap has completed testing of their own version of SpaceX's Mechazilla catching system. Following SpaceX's groundbreaking achievement last October, this Chinese counterpart bears striking similarities to the original design, from the tower structure to the distinctive chopsticks mechanism. Fresh reports confirm Cosmo Leap's static testing completion, with the company claiming their data aligns perfectly with simulations. But as industry experts examine the details, questions arise about the true capabilities of this replica system. Meanwhile, the space race intensifies as NASA faces critical decisions about its Mars sample return mission, while SpaceX continues pushing boundaries with its proven Starship program. From space innovation to strategic implications, we're covering it all. I'm with Elon Musk 24 hours. Let's dive right in. The SpaceX Mechazilla system stands as a testament to American innovation, a towering achievement that's revolutionizing space launch technology. But just months after SpaceX demonstrated its groundbreaking catch attempt, concerning developments are emerging from the East. Let's break down what makes this situation so significant. When SpaceX unveiled their Mechazilla system, it wasn't just another launch tower. This was engineering brilliance in action. Massive mechanical arms designed to catch a 230-foot rocket booster, weighing thousands of tons, all with the precision of a surgeon. Each component was meticulously designed, tested, and refined through countless iterations. The static load tests alone involve supporting 500 tons. Imagine the weight of three fully loaded Boeing 747 suspended in midair. Now, enter Cosmo Leap, also known as Dehong Ue Chan. Their recent announcement on Chinese social media platform Weibo revealed something that's causing quite a stir in the aerospace community. Their testing facility bears an uncanny resemblance to SpaceX's Mechazilla, from the tower structure to the distinctive chopstick arms. But here's where it gets interesting. Their system appears significantly smaller, less robust, and notably different in key technical aspects. During their static testing phase, Cosmo Leap employed a method strikingly similar to SpaceX's early development process. They suspended cylindrical metal blocks from their chopstick arms, mimicking the load tests SpaceX conducted in early 2022. But industry experts quickly noticed crucial differences. The structural integrity, the control mechanisms, even the basic cable systems seemed to be missing or underdeveloped. The internet's reaction was swift and merciless. Comments flooded in, ranging from skeptical to outright dismissive. One user pointed out, the tower doesn't even have proper control mechanisms. It's just a basic steel structure. Another questioned, who are they trying to fool? This looks like a high school engineering project compared to SpaceX's system, but perhaps the most telling response came from NASA Administrator Jared Eisman. His statement cut to the heart of the matter. Starship's rapid reusability and orbital refilling represent a revolutionary leap in space capabilities. The high ground has always mattered. Military value, economic potential, and civilization-changing discoveries. We can't ignore it, and neither can China. Despite the criticism, Cosmo Leap seems undeterred. They've secured $14 million in funding, a figure that seems almost quaint compared to SpaceX's investments in their launch facilities. Their ambitious timeline targets 2026 for their first launch, but aerospace experts remain skeptical. The technological gap isn't just about hardware, it's about the years of experience, the countless failed attempts, and the innovative spirit that drives true progress. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues pushing boundaries at an unprecedented pace. The company's preparations for Flight 7 showcase the real complexity behind these systems. They're not just replacing lifting pins and reinforcing communication systems. They're continuously evolving their technology. The orbital launch mount undergoes regular strengthening, protective walls are fortified, and each vehicle faces rigorous testing protocols that would make most engineering teams blanch. But here's where the story takes an interesting turn. While China grapples with their replica tower, SpaceX is already looking ahead to catching Starship itself, potentially as early as Flight 8 this year. It's a goal that seemed impossible just months ago, yet SpaceX's track record of turning science fiction into reality gives credence to their ambitions. The contrasts become even starker when examining China's broader approach. 
Their launch facilities, often constructed near residential areas, raise serious safety concerns. Their LEAP or UAN rocket, while incorporating elements from both Starship and Falcon 9, reveals a fundamental misunderstanding of rocket design principles. It's not just about copying features. It's about creating a cohesive system where each component works in harmony with the others. Speaking of harmony, SpaceX's expansion plans paint a picture of calculated growth. The tank farm system is being enlarged to meet increasing demands. New vehicles are taking shape. S-34 complete, S-35 sections spotted, B-15 through B-17 in various stages of development. It's a symphony of engineering and logistics that's targeting an astounding 400 flights by 2025. This brings us to a crucial point about innovation versus imitation. While Cosmo Leap's efforts might produce a structure that looks similar to Mechazilla, they're missing the fundamental philosophy that drives SpaceX's success. It's not just about building a tower that can catch rockets. It's about creating a sustainable, efficient system that revolutionizes space access. The implications extend beyond just commercial competition. NASA's Mars Sample Return Program faces its own challenges, with costs ballooning from $3 billion to $11 billion and timelines stretching to 2040. China's announcement of their plans to return Mars samples by 2028 adds another layer of urgency to this space race. But herein lies the opportunity. SpaceX's Starship program, with its rapid progress and innovative capabilities, stands ready to assist NASA in overcoming these hurdles. Elon Musk's ambitious timeline for Mars missions, uncrewed within two years, crewed within four, showcases the potential for revolutionary change in space exploration. As we watch these developments unfold, one thing becomes crystal clear. The path to space supremacy isn't found in imitation, but in innovation. While China's approach might produce short-term results, the long-term victory will likely belong to those who dare to push the boundaries of what's possible. As we look ahead to the upcoming NASA press conference on January 7th, the stakes in this modern space race couldn't be higher. SpaceX's Starship program stands ready to revolutionize not just space travel, but our entire approach to reaching Mars. While others may attempt to replicate success through imitation, true innovation continues to drive humanity's greatest achievements in space exploration. The contrast is stark. On one side, a company pushing the boundaries of what's possible, targeting 400 flights by 2025, and planning crewed Mars missions within four years. On the other, attempts to replicate past successes without understanding the fundamental principles that made them work. The message is clear. In the race to space, innovation will always outpace imitation. As we continue to track these developments, your engagement helps spread awareness about these crucial advances in space technology. Join our growing community of space enthusiasts by subscribing to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you believe in the power of genuine innovation and share your thoughts below on whether copying technology is a sustainable path to space advancement. Until next time, this is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you updated on humanity's journey to the stars. In the high stakes world of private space exploration, two titans have been locked in an extraordinary battle. SpaceX led by Elon Musk has been launching rockets at a breakneck pace with Starship pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But today, we're turning our attention to a sleeping giant that's finally awakening. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket. After years of anticipation and countless delays, Jeff Bezos has broken his silence. The massive New Glenn rocket, standing proud at 98 meters tall, has finally taken its place on Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral. This isn't just another rocket launch. It's Blue Origin's bold statement that they're ready to compete in the orbital space race. The timing couldn't be more critical. While SpaceX has completed multiple test flights of their revolutionary Starship, Blue Origin has faced scrutiny for lagging behind. But something changed when Dave Limp took the helm as CEO in December 2022. The company's pace accelerated, milestones started falling into place, and now with a five-year launch license in hand, New Glenn is poised for its debut flight. 
What makes this moment truly remarkable is the shift we're witnessing in the private space industry. 20 years ago, when Bezos founded Blue Origin, the idea of private companies launching massive rockets to orbit was considered far-fetched. Now we're watching two of the world's most successful entrepreneurs push each other to reach further into the cosmos. In an unexpected turn of events, even Elon Musk has extended his support, wishing Blue Origin Godspeed, a rare gesture that underscores the historical significance of what's about to unfold. This isn't just about competition anymore. It's about humanity's collective journey to the stars. Hi, Elon Musk, 24 hours here. Let's dive right in. The story of New Glenn begins not with a rocket, but with a dream. In the year 2000, when the space industry was still dominated by government agencies, Jeff Bezos made a bold decision. Fresh from transforming retail with Amazon, he set his sights on an even greater frontier, space. Blue Origin was born in a time when private space companies were seen as little more than ambitious fantasies. Two years later, another visionary entered the scene. Elon Musk founded SpaceX, and suddenly the private space race had two formidable contenders. Both companies shared a revolutionary vision, making space accessible, reusable rockets a reality, and pushing humanity toward becoming a multi-planetary species. But their paths would diverge dramatically in the years to come. Blue Origin's early years showed incredible promise. They achieved something remarkable in November 2015, a successful vertical takeoff and landing of their new Shepard rocket, beating SpaceX to this crucial milestone by a matter of weeks. This achievement sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. It wasn't just about being first. It was proof that private companies could innovate in ways that were previously thought impossible. But while Blue Origin celebrated this victory, SpaceX was already setting its sights on a far more ambitious goal, orbital flight. The real race wasn't about who could touch the edge of space. It was about who could reach orbit, deliver payloads, and open up the true commercial potential of space exploration. By 2012, SpaceX had already secured its place in history as the first private company to dock with the International Space Station. The announcement of New Glenn in September 2016 was Blue Origin's answer to this challenge. Named after John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, this rocket wasn't just another launch vehicle. It was a statement of intent. Standing at 98 meters tall with a diameter of seven meters, New Glenn was designed to be a true heavy lift Titan. Its seven BE-4 engines would generate enough power to lift 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit and 13 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit. The first stage was designed to be reusable, landing gracefully on a barge in the Atlantic Ocean, much like SpaceX's Falcon 9. But ambition and reality often follow different trajectories, as SpaceX continued to rack up success after success with their Falcon 9 rocket, eventually achieving a remarkable record of nearly 400 successful launches, Blue Origin faced a series of challenging setbacks. The B-4 engine development proved more complex than anticipated, leading to delays that would ripple through the entire program. The initial target launch date of 2020 came and went, and skepticism began to grow. The turning point came in December 2022 with the appointment of Dave Limp as CEO. His arrival marked a fundamental shift in Blue Origin's approach. The company began to move with a renewed sense of urgency, and the results were immediate. Under Limp's leadership, Blue Origin didn't just make promises, they began delivering results. November 2024 marked a pivotal moment when New Glenn was finally erected at Launch Complex 36 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The sight of this massive rocket standing against the sky was a powerful reminder of what Blue Origin had been working toward all these years. But the real breakthrough came on December 27, when New Glenn passed its first fully integrated static fire test, a crucial milestone that demonstrated the rocket's readiness for flight. The Federal Aviation Administration's decision to grant Blue Origin a five-year launch license wasn't just a regulatory approval. It was a vote of confidence in the company's capabilities. With the first launch window set for January the 6th, 2025, the space industry held its collective breath. Jeff Bezos, who had maintained an unusual silence about the project, finally spoke up with four simple words that carried immense weight. Next stop, launch. What makes this moment particularly significant is the context of the broader space race. 
While New Glenn was preparing for its debut, SpaceX's Starship program was pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space travel. Starship, with its fully reusable design and massive payload capacity of up to 150 metric tons to load